Okay, this should be the 12th revelation. I will still count them. I'm seeing a massive demolition in the federal capital, Abuja, in 2024. But this may lead to a strong court case. The people of Abuja, I'm not telling you to sell your land or your house. Make sure you get it legit. Go and do the right thing you need to do. Because it will be as if... Bam! I'm saying there is an agenda. Massive demolition. So we need to pray. Residents of Zidu Village, a neighboring community to the Federal Housing Authority Estate in Lube, Abuja, begin their first week of the year 2024 with a protest. This peaceful protest is organized by the residents to protest against an alleged plan by the Federal Housing Authority to demolish their community. The inscriptions on the placards say it all. The protesters are seeking the intervention of President Bola Tinumbua to intervene and stop the planned demolition. Our gathering here today is to cry out to the world and especially to our Mr. President, His Excellency, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinubu, of FHA plans to demolish our homes in the above mentioned village or villages without following the initial promise of compensation, integration, or relocation. The Federal Housing Authority decision to display thousands of people and to demolish over 1,500 habited houses without adequate resettlement or compensation is a gross violation of human rights and must be stopped immediately. According to the protesters, over 1,000 houses in the community have already been marked for demolition. Talking about the demolition that will take place soon, they told us initially that they will compensate us, but instead they are now saying that there won't be any form of compensation again. They say that they will come with their bulldozers and demolish every structure here. Please help us. If they demolish our buildings, where should we go to with our families? However, the Director of Press and Public Relations at the Federal Housing Authority, Kenneth Chigelu, told Channels Television via telephone conversation that the Housing Authority only intends to demolish houses that have encroached on their land. Mr. Kenneth maintains that the Federal Housing Authority does not plan to demolish the entire village. There are several marked houses for demolition here, but whether or not the whole community will fall for the bulldozer, the next few weeks will tell. As residents say, they have been given two weeks ultimatum without compensation of any sort. Good morning, win today and win forever. Is your friend and your brother, Prophet A.A. Imanu. Yes. I remember I gave a prophecy on the 31st December. I said I'm seeing a massive demolition in the federal capital city, Abuja of Nigeria. Yes. And I want to advise you. I said I see a strong case. Is that also? I want to advise you. If you have a land or a property in Abuja, mostly land and building, go and get your document. Your paper should be complete. Yes. Because what is happening in Lagos is a dust of what, what wants to happen in Abuja. They want to transform Abuja. So, you know who will this affect? Those who don't have strong leg. Not just strong leg, who don't? Your paper. So I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. This is what God shows me. He showed me, so I have to say it. So please try and get your paper. You will see a place you people relax. Say nothing will happen here. You just see notice. You will be surprised. So try and get your paper. I, no, don't sell your land. Don't sell your house. Don't see property. Man, as you should sell it. I told you, I warn you. Get your paper. So wherever you are, God bless you in Jesus' name. I also said, pray for North Korea president. Pray. Because I'm seeing pressure. The economy will face more pain. And this pressure will make the president to take a wrong step that will affect him, the world, his nation. 
So we pray that he will take the step that will favor him, the world, and his nation. God bless you. We today and we forever. I also said, your weather. I'm seeing plane crash. Last night again, I got another revelation. I saw plane crash. And I'm still wondering, what is the problem? Check your plane. Anything that will move in the air, check it. Because of the, there will be a weather that will be disturbing the air from people from using air. So I'm not saying we will not travel by air. Even me, I will travel. But we need to pray. Every spirit that will cause problem in the air should be cut it or cancelled. You know, they will tell you nothing, nothing. It just happened. What is it? It started from air before down. From air before down. So let us continue to pray for our nation. Pray and pray and pray. Because if this thing is not rectified, checked properly, more problems. Eh, 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 eh. We don't want that. God bless you. Win today and win forever. In Jesus' name. Thank you.